located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002. For Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AM Impact on Your Health. AM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AM Impact on Your Health, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. AM Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, fascinating health topics, and where we do encourage you to call in to join in. Today, well, it is a Friday version of the show. It is a get them up out of town version of the show, as we normally like to keep it. Um, we'll call this a newly uh, instituted segment, of course, a, a weekly roundup. I've accumulated, I've been in a blogosphere and, and mass media, and I've rounded up a number of articles I can bring to you. But, of course, you can take over too, and I always enjoy it when you do that, because uh, you can call up and anything on your mind is okay with me. If you want to talk about a weekly roundup, what's your weekly roundup? Of course, we had uh, Walter Groats with us on Monday. By the way, anybody who might have gone up to the Freedom of Choice and Cancer Therapy Group last night, Walter was there. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know how that all went with Walter. I think his lovely wife accompanied him on this trip. What did you think of him? And what did you think of the discussion about hydrogen peroxide, which I think he is plain to fame, is it, between himself and Dr. Wilhelm? He literally brought us the stuff. So uh, you could talk about Walter. Uh, also, your week in review, your weekly roundup, Cass Ingram, of course, was with us on Wednesday. We had a very unique show with Cass. Uh, his show, really, for the first time, we sat back and we just looked at these oregano products and started to checking out, you know, you as a listener, how do you need to view these oregano products? Because every single time we talk to Cass, he's come out of the woods or he's written a new book and has some particular slant, then he mentions a product from the entire line that may be helpful in that particular issue. Well, we talked about all the products the other day and how to look at them, whether it's oregano, whether it's a chagra, uh, whether it's uh, SOD component, the mechanism of action. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you didn't hear it, I think you could really benefit from it. Head to the archives. Uh, it appears there under, of course, June 8th, the Cass Ingram Show. Um, should also mention to the entire group today that uh, our, in, our order finally arrived from North American Urban Spice. We have a fragrance of aroma, an oregano and aroma, that permeates the air in this office of oregano. It's everywhere. Uh, and, of course, uh, the number of products we've got were very extensive. Um, by the way, I, I, I'm looking at these, uh, these product lists, and I counted them up while I was waiting to go on the air today. North American Urban Spice has, uh, what's the number here, 170 different products that they sell to their distributors. And in the line of North American Urban Spice, they are distributed pretty well. A lot of places out there, uh, health food stores have them. But you can imagine they can't carry 170 products uh, at, at one time. So they have to pick and choose. I looked at the, the physician strength list of products. There were 53 products there. That physician strength line is slightly different. It's made for doctors only. And uh, suffice to say that the amounts of the ingredients are really bumped up in the physician strength line. Uh, we got a, a smattering in our order, nowhere near 53 products, nowhere near certainly 170. But we got the products that have been most recently talked about in our shows with um, Cass over the last couple of months. Uh, i got to tell you that uh, there's so many Chaga products that are new. I'm going to tell you that most of the um, distributors out there probably aren't even aware of the Chaga issue. Everyone's aware of oregano, and when I look at the lines being carried by the various vendors out there, 
They are well represented of the oregano products. I don't find chaga out there. Well, we got a line of them both in both the physician strength and the North American regular strength. Um, I will tell you the teas. I finally got a chance to sample these teas this morning, and uh, I'm looking at them holding in my hand a, a jar of what they call chaga black, and uh, I had never known it to be labeled this way, but. Uh, it certainly caught my eye. They're calling it a wonderful coffee substitute. Uh, the ingredients of this, listen to it, wild raw black chaga, wild raw whole chaga, pulverized wild birch bark, wild aromatic rose hips powder. Now, um, does that sound delectable to you? Well, I don't know. I was thinking, wonder what this is going to taste like. I don't know if all that chocolate. Well, guess what? It is a coffee substitute, and especially putting in that little bit of uh, cinnamon and honey that uh, I have been come to know uh, as a good morning drink for me. I really can now offer a testimonial. That is a wonderful coffee substitute. Take us up on it. That's called Chaga Black. You also have a Chaga White. I haven't tried it yet. I'll wait till I do, and I'll let you know. Uh, there's something called Chaga Max. This is a combination of Chaga and oregano, a new product, uh, and then we have the Physician Strength line with the most potent product of all called oregacillin, and it's in various forms. It is in a liquid form, an oil, it is in a capsule form, and it is in a cream form. So, folks, the stuff is here. If you got a mind to want to get a hold of the Chaga line and you can't find it out there near you, call us up. We'll be able to send it out. I'm very, very certain we can get it out the same day. Uh, and so enough said about it for now. As I sample these other products, I'll give you uh, I'll give you my report on on how everything goes with it. Um, calendar issues, calendar issues. Uh, uh, yeah, this weekend I get this note here, so I'll mention it to you. If you have vision issues and you're interested in Dr. Conrad, who keeps coming to Pittsburgh, his next scheduled visit here for a treatment seminar is until December. He does say, however, if enough people really surface, and the number's usually around 10, uh, he'll come any time before December besides. But the next scheduled time is um, December. If you've been kicking around the idea of trying to have your vision problem dealt with in a non-conventional way, uh, because quite frankly, it would be my guess after talking to a number of patients that I've talked to, that the conventional way just doesn't work out. Uh, you hit... If you get any benefit, you hit a plateau, you stay there, and uh, pretty much that's what you are consigned to remaining uh, as with respect to your vision. Now, the approaches that Dr. Conjar takes, I've seen some tremendous turnarounds in literally 24, 48 hours would blow my mind when I see it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be on a Dr. Ed show, his own show that he has out of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm the guest this weekend. I've been a guest a couple of times already. If you'd like to listen to that show, uh, you'll have to do it by a streaming mechanism. You've got to get near a computer. Sunday evening, 8 o'clock Pittsburgh time. That's 5 o'clock Phoenix time, 8 o'clock our time. Head your computer, dial up www.kfnxradio1100.com. And on the opening page, look for it where it says Schedule. Click on Schedule, go to Sunday, 5 o'clock, click on that, and there you are. You'll be listening to the show live. You can also equally do the same to be able to get to the archives of all his previous shows. Uh, the Dr. Ed Show went on. i got to make certain I, I hit the proper Sunday evening. It's a little tough for me to remember this is 8 o'clock. Uh, then next week, guests are coming. On, um, on Wednesday, Jeff Burke comes to us. He's a naturopathic physician. He's going to be talking about five nutritional tips to stay healthy this summer. Let's see what he thinks you should be doing to stay healthy. Uh, then the following week on a Monday, uh, we're finally going to get Roland back. Roland Thomas, that is. He's unveiled the Dr. Michael Kiriak story to us uh, on many occasions. We're going to find out what's new and what's going on with Roland Thomas. We certainly carry that line. It is my number one choice. If somebody asks me now, what, what would be the best multiple I should be taking? Well, I don't hesitate anymore. It's this product made by uh, 
bio bio superfoods bio nutrition yeah name of the company bio nutrition they it is a form of back bioengineered algae concentrate and uh, we're going to be hearing from Roland Thomas on the 20th bring him back the next Wednesday Jesse Canone comes here uh, talking about a six-step back pain rescue plan and uh, that will round out the month of guests I got some uh, things out of time cooking at the end of the week so or end of the month if you have a um, idea for any repeat shows that you'd like to read here and uh, and uh, you don't have computer access, it's tough for you to get to the archives because you can do it any day of the week by going to the archives at the djcmd.com. That'll get you there, www.djcmd.com. Uh, click on archives and then five years. All the shows I've done since 2006 are right there for you. You'll get a kick out of uh, uh, looking at the guests we've had over these about five years now. Uh, and then just looking into the month of July, uh, of course, Susan Smith-Jones comes here right after the 4th of July weekend. She'll be here on the 6th, 8th Wednesday. David Brownstein on the tw on the 8th talking about Salt Your Way to Health, one of his books. Um, a, um, oh, Lee Waller is going to be here on the 11th talking about sustainable weight loss. That's a real big problem out there, folks. You know this up and down yo-yo thing in terms of how many times you've been on a diet to lose weight only to put the poundage back on. And uh, I'll be inter interested in hearing what uh, Lee Waller says will prevent that yo-yo effect, sustainable weight loss, how to do it, how to accomplish it. And then this newly, applied, newly uh, scheduled guest just yesterday, Alan Ridgway, comes back. Now, you know Alan because he's been here many times talking about the product line for the diabetics that he services. Oh, he's the fellow that fits you for the diabetic shoes. Uh, he gets the diabetic supplies for the testing strips, the lancets, the glucometers, uh, and the like. And um, we've had him on our show many times talking about those services. There's a brand new product that he's launching. Uh, nobody has it. It's uh, going to be something that for a while at least we're going to exclusively have. Those of you who have muscle aches and pains uh, arthritic in nature, or you just name it, uh, wherever you may have them, there's a product out in the market right now that um, I've never used, I've never seen, but certainly talking to people with their aches and pains, they've heard of it, and they've seen it, and it's called BioFreeze. And there's some pretty good reports to come back from people who take it. That's why they enjoy it. They put this on the skin over top of the painful area, and it, it gives them uh, instant pain relief. Well, now we got a new product. It's called Simply Freeze, and according to the billing, it's as good, if not better, than the BioFreeze, um, and it's much cheaper than BioFreeze. And so we're going to feature this product here in our office. We'll launch it on the 13th. I mean, we'll have the product before then, but we'll bring the product to you in a show with Alan Ridgway on the 13th. If you've got some muscle aches and pains and you're looking to get some relief uh, instantaneously. I love testimonials of, of my uh, office manager, Kim, who I hope she doesn't mind me saying recently. And by the way, it's not recent either. I think it's been many months now. She had a knee surgery. She's recuperating from it. She keeps going to physical therapy, but she has knee discomfort every day. And uh, when the product hit here, she put it on the knee immediately, and she has been using this stuff called Biofreeze, and I'll be doggone if the first testimonial doesn't come from her. And if you know Kim like I know Kim, she doesn't say anything that isn't 100% accurate. And so I can trust it, and I'll pass on other testimonials as they surface. So that's the schedule coming up as I see it. Uh, talking about those products, they are now here. That's the oregano line. And uh, I'll try to keep on sampling. I want to go for that. Uh, the other tea, by the way, there's that chaga black. And I've already tried it, and it is a great coffee substitute. And now there's this thing called Chaga White. They also label it as a, co a, a um, coffee substitute, but when I asked Cass about it, he claims that this is like a um, latte, some sort of latte. I don't do that, um, but I know plenty of people who do. Wonder, and all organic, it's an organic coffee latte. 
at least that's what they claim. I'll let you know whether the claim is matched up to the taste after I try it. All right, let's do this. Let's take a short break. When we come back, you may decide to dial us up. What's your week in review? You know, with uh, Walter Groats here and with Cass Ingram here, you may have something to ask about. You may have nothing to talk about with respect to what on this week, what went on this week, but what you may have in your own mind in terms of a question or a comment. Anything on your mind is okay with me, 412-825-6262. The get em up out of town version of the show begins right after this break. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Have you been to the doctor lately? Was fatigue top of your complaint list? Even if your doctor asks you what you eat, the recommended five servings of fruits and vegetables a day is a dream in your busy schedule. What if you learned of a product five years in the formulation that delivers five servings of fruits and minerals in just one ounce? That's right, it's through the spirit. The blessings of through the spirit are now formulated into a delicious whole fruit puree product rich in antioxidants and minerals. Your health is more than just a test result. It's a balance of physical, spiritual, and emotional factors. You work regularly to strengthen your faith, but through the spirit, help cover your nutritional needs in a convenient and cost-effective ounce a day. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Through the spirit, a blessing for your good health. Through the spirit, five servings of fruits and minerals with no added sugars. That's one 800 442-3793 for your good health. Call them now, 1-800-442-3793. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Heard here on KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you on this Friday version of the show. It is a get em up out of town version of the show. What a weekend it looks like is in store for you. Be near some shade. Be near a swimming pool, folks. Be near something that you can cool off because it is going to be a scorcher. Uh, but uh, no rain in sight, the best I can tell. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Have your whole weekend planned out and enjoy it well. Before you head off for that weekend, though, you just may want to pay attention today. You may want to participate today in what we call our get them up out of town version of the show, where you can set the agenda by giving us a call. 412-825-6262 is the number to get in on this. 412-825-6262. Anything on your mind is okay with me. I'll be listening for some knock on the door, and when I hear it, I'll let you on in the store, and we'll see. Well, we'll see what's on your mind. In the interim, uh, a new segment just started a week ago, really. Uh, we call it the weekly roundup of health news stories that grabbed our attention from around the world over the last seven days um, by searching the blogs, as I usually do, and the other forms of media that come to me. Uh, certain health stories just keep coming up over and over again, and they can't be missed. And then there are these rare little ditties that come up that you don't seemingly find anywhere and always, they always interest me. And so I collect them. I've got a stack of them in right in front of me, and I'll be getting to them today. Every time I find one, I'll give you where the reference was from, how to get that and bring it up on your own computer, who the reporter was, and what the byline is on the date of the story. It's only fair to do that. We do have a knock on the door in the interim. Why don't we let them on in the store? Hello. Welcome aboard. What's on your mind? Um, hi, Dr. Hi. 
Um, when uh, Cass Ingram was on the other day, okay. um, he always has so much information. Isn't the guy loaded with information? Yeah, it's like hard to keep up with him. I think I'm going to have to break down and, and, and get one or two of his books <laughs> because he's just so good. But he mentioned an item, and uh, I only heard him mention it once, um, and I think it was something like Zeus. Zeus. Yeah, he was talking about some of the different products and talking about the, you know, chocolate cream and, and then, of course, the uh, oregano. And, and, and I thought he said something like... Well, you know, I think I actually remember him mentioning something that I went, what is... I said to myself, what is that, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm holding a list of all these products in front of me. And so I'm sort of searching to see if I can find out what... Oh, he, see, she has weird names like Zolvit. Now, he's never talked about Zolvit before, but it certainly is a product with a weird name. But no, did you say Zoof or did you say Zolvit, by the way? Well, or, what do you think he said? And so it, it could be something like that. I thought it was like Zeus, which, you know, in my association, it was like, well, that's from the Greek mythology, you know. Um, but it could have been, but it was definitely a Z. Okay, well... Um, Zolvit is a skin, um, what is it, a skin support with this all, so it's a cream. This is this particular product is a cream, and he did talk about a number of creams. Uh, I'm going to continue to sort of go up and down the list. If I find anything, because I do think I remember the little, just a little blurb he threw out there, uh, and, and when he said it, I went, geez, what is that? And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what you're talking about. If I find something with a Z in it, that I can actually bring to your attention, and I'm going to be going through this list uh, as uh, as I sit here with you this morning. I'll bring it to your attention. Well, he mentioned pumpkin oil. That was one that came out of left field. Okay. How do you spell that? Oh, pu- the, put the spell pumpkin and then put O L on the end of it. Oh. Pumpkin oil. Okay. Uh-huh. Now he mentioned that product, and it is a it is never mentioned before. I had never heard him mention it before. And um, that's a what alpine pumpkin seed oil rich in fi- uh, essential fatty acids and sterols. And so, hey, you know, I counted them up, and I'm telling you, there are 153 uh, products that North American makes between combinations of either oregano or chaga or combinations of both. That's a that's a heck of a large product line. I don't know. Zolvit. How do you spell that? I'll, I'll tell you right now. And I'm going to make me oh, Z O L V I T is the name of that product. It comes in a 30 milliliter vial, so it is either a liquid. Oh, oh you know what it's labeled at? Essential oils and essences. Zolvit is the name of the product for skin. For the skin. And the, the one cream that he was talking about. Ah, the creams. We have these creams now. Um, there are essentially two creams out of the whole dog online. One is a um, oregano cream called Oreganol, okay? And then there is this, uh, I call it the granddaddy of the creams, because uh, we got it, in, it's a physician strength line, so this would be a difficult one to get out there in a health food store. But it's uh, the, the, the top of the line oregano product the strongest of all the products is called oregacillin. And that's only found in a physician's strength. And then they have, a, of course, an oral product. They have a liquid product with the drops. He talked about putting it under the tongue, if you remember him talking about that. And then they... So the cream uh, that he talked about for the, you know, helping your skin, the complexion cream, what is that called? Oh, these are, the, these are those complexion creams. Um, these are those. Yeah, these are those, and they uh, have... Uh, either straight oregano or this combination of chaga and oregano. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. Thanks yeah. for the questions. Thank you very much. Uh, if I find something else that begins with a Z, I'll bring it to you, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Yeah, folks. Um, a wonderful question. Uh, but with 153 products, I don't know how even Cass Ingram keeps... Uh, Keep them all, all straight, because I, I, I think I would have a heck of a time doing it. Uh, so anyway, um, you can call up and ask your question, too. It can be related to cast, and these products can be related to anything else, 412 
825-6262 is the number, and I'll keep on waiting for a knock on the door. Now in the weekly roundup, uh, looking at the stories that made it throughout the world in the health area throughout the week, you have heard this each and every night. I, by the way, I heard a blurb as I was walking out the door this morning. This is about that E. coli outbreak. Uh, that uh, is centered around Germany, but it's making its way now. People who were in Germany at the time are now getting on their airplanes or getting in their boats, and they're heading back to wherever they're from, and they're bringing the disease with them. Uh, e. coli outbreak. This is out of the BBC News. Uh, the byline for this is June 2nd. The reporter is James Gallagher. You'll find you'll find it his, in his column there. Um, E. coli outbreak in Germany is a new form. Is a new form. That, this is what the key item of this particular uh, article was. It is a brand new form of the bacterium. Researchers and public health service health experts believe it can cause deadly complications of hemolytic uremic syndrome. Now, I have heard this syndrome associated with children. I have really, uh, in my reading and in my contact with this problem not really found it associated with adults, uh, yet this is the population that's being affected now, and I think that's a new twist. Uh, there are more than 1,500 people that have been infected with this form of E. coli. 18 have died, 17 in Germany and one in Sweden. Seven people in the U.K. have the infection, including three British nationals. The World Health Organization said the variant had never been seen in an outbreak situation before. So although they're aware of the variant, it is a brand spanking new one to be found out in nature. Scientists at the Beijing, Beijing uh, Gen Genomics Institute in China also reported saying it's a new form of highly, uh, highly infectious and toxic. Um, what else to say about it? Oh, they felt initially that this was coming from cucumbers from Spain. And, um, you know, all you got to do is start talking about countries of origin. And now, as I leave the house this morning, the E. coli has apparently been traced to sprouts from Germany itself. Uh, and uh, the Spaniards are not happy about it. They're ready to sue. They say the Spain is threatening to seek compensation from the EU for lost vegetable sales which obviously people are running from like the plague. So um, that's the byline on um, the E. coli outbreak. Brand new strain, never seen before in nature, found in the labs, so they it's not a complete stranger to them, but uh, now causing all sorts of havoc. Uh, worldwide, hasn't really made it to our shores just yet. Next up in the World Roundup, uh, this one, always catches my eye, and maybe it's because of the weather right now that it's uh, in the news. This is uh, out of a blog uh, called Mail Online, and uh, the byline of this is June 1st. The name of the reporter is Jenny Hope, and it has to do with um, the advice to be given to those sunbathers out there, sun worshipers, in selecting a level of SPF protection. You know, the this is the number they put on uh, the copper tone products and sea and ski and everything else in them. They range from really light amounts like five and go, go all the way up to 50 and even 70 in terms of complete blocking of the sun. Anyway, uh, the byline mentions that the official advice given to sunbathers to use factor 15 sun green, uh, sunscreen, excuse me, they say is now insufficient advice. This is not nearly uh, the strength needed. So says a top doctor who has warned that if people wish to prevent sunburn and the risk of skin cancer, they should slap on factor 30. This in the words of Dr. Ike, uh, here's a Ihenacho, that's my best shot at that, editor of the uh, influential Drug and Therapeutics Bulletin called DBT. Anyway, um, the National Institute of Health and uh, Clinical Excellence, uh, published in Nice, uh, gave guidance saying that people should wear broad-spectrum UVA and UVB sunscreens 
with a minimum factor of 15. Now, I'm going to take off on this a little bit because um, uh, as much vitamin D uh, uh, discussion that's come up on this particular show and comes up with all of the patients that I happen to consult, uh, this thing is completely out of sorts. And we got to get we got to get this thing rectified. There is a absolute scare going on out there that exposure to sunlight is deadly. And uh, the dermatology community would have you believe that you are supposed to get from the car and literally run, run to the house, get in there, close the door, and don't you go out in that sun. Absolutely, it it'll kill you. And um, the scare is is pretty well. Um, Received by the um, by the general population, and I believe the scare is completely askew in terms of the real message. The real message should not be, in my opinion, that it's exposure to sunlight that causes cancer, even though it does. <laughs> it, however, is said in an inappropriate way. The way this should be said is that because of the loss of protection from vitamin D, you are predisposed to obtaining to to getting harmful uh, consequences of sunlight exposure. And yes, one of those consequences is the potential to develop to develop skin cancers, and particularly one of the most deadly forms of skin cancers that's referred to as malignant melanoma. Now, I hope I, you don't interpret what I just said as double talk, because if for anything, it is taking on the medical establishment in an area that they are very vulnerable. And that is, this shouldn't be a sunlight scare. This needs to be a vitamin D scare. Your vitamin D levels, Pittsburghers, surrounding areas, are so low that you are extremely vulnerable to the harmful effects of UVA and UVB rays. Uh, and so as a result of that, yes, I can see where uh, the, the, the medical community is, is, should be trying to warn you of your vulnerability, but it is phrased in a way that is incorrect. You are not, it is not the sunlight that is causing the problem. It is your vitamin D deficiency. Now, what do I use to back this up? Uh, and, I, and I think it's a valid way to back it up is the way uh, scientists have uh, uh, investigated the vitamin D story. Of course, you know that vitamin D is known as a sunshine vitamin, and uh, it is something that your own body produces, or at least makes in the form of an active vitamin D when after you take the earlier forms in your diet, vitamin D1, leafy green vegetables, and so on and so forth, then the sun uh, being... Um, uh, taken up within the skin, causes the conversion of the D1 to the D2, and then finally another conversion occurs in other parts of the body from D2 to D3, and vitamin D3 is then the active vitamin. But you must have sunlight exposure in order to make those initial conversion steps. Now, to study this, I think they did the right thing. If you want to study the effects of sun, go to where the sun is. And with they, where they have gone and what the articles that I've read uh, point to is that Polynesian males literally don't wear a shirt. They wear, I don't know, some sort of a loincloth set up down there. The point is they're exposed to the sun from sun up to sun day, sundown every day, 365, in their entire lives. They're, they're getting pelted with the sun each and every day. Uh, if there's anybody who should be developing, they should have cancer clinics on the beach in uh, the Fiji Islands. And they can't find a case of malignant melanoma on the entire island. Hey, wake up. It's not the sun. The vitamin D levels of the Polynesian males, by the way, when they take them, run the blood tests on them, the 25 OHD3 that we asked you all to go ahead and get measured uh, by going to your own doctors, and when you come back, 
and you're way below that normal value that's been placed on, on you at 34 nanograms per deciliter is supposedly where the normals begin. And uh, I, I, I know I inform you each and every time the number goes up, but at last count, of all the hundreds of people that I've treated, uh, after I've learned and done the blood test on them, I found that there are 13 patients of the many hundreds now that actually did have a normal vitamin D level of 34 and higher. And in every single case, whether their level was 36 and not 33, they were all taking pretty good whopping doses of vitamin D and had been doing so for a long time. When someone doesn't specifically, and by specifically I mean taking at least 5,000 units a day, when someone hasn't specifically been taking at least that amount for, it appears to me, to be around a year's worth of time, you can expect to find yourself well below the 35 nanograms per deciliter. The common and most common levels that I find in my patients are in the teens, like 12 like 14, like 15, like that. That would make you extremely vitamin D deficient. It would also make you extremely um, uh, vulnerable to the consequences of a vitamin D deficiency, and there are many of them, only one of which, uh, and, and, and a very big one, of course, is the issue we're talking about right now, and that is the um, issue of, uh, of uh, your vulnerability to sunlight exposure, and um, if you would do this, if you would correct your vitamin D deficiency and bring it up to not 34. Uh, the other point I wanted to make about the Polynesian male population is when they finally tested them, and they aren't supplementing taking vitamin D. The, the, the Polynesian male doesn't go and say, Mom, where's the vitamin D tablet? The Polynesian male gets all of his vitamin D from sunlight exposure and the and the levels of uh, uh, the blood test vitamin 25 OHD3 levels in them is between 84 and 100. That's the optimum level. That's the level that we shoot for here. That's the level you should be shooting for. There's no toxicity that I'm aware of that can occur with levels in this optimal range that high but you can never get there without taking doses usually of around 10,000 units a day um, for at least a year and then finally cutting back, especially between the months of uh, uh, May and September when it is possible for you to get enough direct sunlight exposure. And by the way, it is impossible, I'll underline the word impossible, to get any direct sunlight exposure between the months of September and May. And uh, this little bit comes by way of some of the, uh, work, uh, uh, the works that I've read on the subject, claiming that above the 35th parallel, which runs through Atlanta, Georgia, they say that between the months of September and May, you cannot get any vitamin D conversion because the sun rays that strike the skin, even if you were outside, even if you were in the buff, so to speak, the Anthony Weiner kind of buff, so to speak, uh, that uh, you can't get any vitamin D conversion because at that time of the year, the Earth's axis causes it to tilt, and the atmosphere, the, the, the sunlight that hits the atmosphere doesn't strike the Earth's surface above the 35th parallel directly. It is bent. And when the sun rays get bent, the ability to make that conversion is lost. And so this is why if you are a Pittsburgh, if you are above the 35th parallel, you must absolutely supplement vitamin D. You can't be allowing the poultry amounts of vitamin D found in the multiple vitamin. Somewhere on the level, I don't know who came up with the number 400, but a while back somebody did. And if you look at your multiple vitamin, you're going to find that in the highest percentage of cases, the amount of vitamin D contained within it is usually one tablet or whatever the, the serving dose is, the recommended dose for that particular um, uh, vitamin that you purchase, is usually 400 international units, which is laughable, 
And uh, the way you know it's laughable is that finally, even the corner doctor, even your doctor, even your um, uneducated and nutrition doctor is now jumped on the vitamin D bandwagon. They're getting bold. They're getting brazen. They, without even stuttering sometimes, can tell a patient that you should be taking 5,000, 8,000, 10,000. I got a couple that uh, put paces on 55,000 milligrams. There's a bold doc. I, I love it. whoever you are out there. That, that's just great. And that pretty much wraps up the vitamin C store. Oh, should also mention uh, when putting on this SPF stuff, okay, if you're looking to get uh, vitamin D help at all, uh, a SPF of 5 will cut out 99, 99% of all UVB rays. And you see, it's the UVB rays that are needed to convert vitamin D1 to vitamin D2 in the skin. And so if you put that stuff, if you go outside and put the stuff on, and you're getting cooked out there, uh, you might be getting cooked. But you are not getting any vitamin D conversion at all. Uh, so the recommendation has been uh, not to abandon the, 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 the SPF applications. It's to get at least 20 minutes of completely unprotected sun first. And within that 20 minutes, you will be able to get a massive amount of vitamin D conversion and then put on the higher numbers, whatever SPF number you need, because nobody's using five. That's like a joke. Who would buy five? They're using 15. They're using 20. I mean, with your kids, you'd lather them up in 50s, you know, so that they don't get uh, burned and, and, and things like that. But that uh, little little buzz coming to me today from Mail Online uh, by a reporter, Jenny Hope, uh, mentioned this uh, new recommendation, and it just caused me to think, how I had to add to it, and I hope you didn't mind the rant. I think it can benefit you all if you can appreciate the entire vitamin D story and not run from the sun because it's harmful, but you're so doggone low in the vitamin D, you're a walking disaster waiting to occur unless you change it. Okay, enough on the vitamin D. Let's take a short break. Uh, maybe you want to call up and ask a question. Could be about vitamin D. Could be about anything. Uh, it is Friday. It is a get em up out of town version of the show. 412-825-6262 is the number. Call in and take over the thing if you get a mind to. Be back in a moment. Want to help your family eat healthier? Instead of learning to disguise tofu in wondrous ways, how about some real nutritional power? If your family has the typical American palate for fries, pizza, and burgers, giving your family the blessing of good nutrition is a struggle. Fruit of the Spirit is the answer for your family's nutritional needs. Fruit of the Spirit is an all-natural, whole fruit puree made from fresh fruits native to the Holy Land with alkalizing minerals. Fruit of the Spirit was five years in the formulation, the work of a team of top nutritional experts with independent science to confirm its antioxidant power. One ounce a day provides the equivalent of five servings of fruits and minerals. Fruit of the Spirit is convenient, affordable, and delicious. Even your picky family will sing the praises of Fruit of the Spirit. Give your loved ones a blessing of good nutrition. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruit of Spirit, a blessing for your good health. That's 1-800-442-3793. Call them now, 1-800-442-3793. enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, M.D., is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Here on a Friday morning version of our show, AM Impact, uh, where we sort of open it up to you each and every Friday when we can do it. We always try to arrange to allow that to happen. Today is one of those days. You can call up and set the agenda. Anything on your mind is okay with me. 412-825-6262 is the number to do it. We are in a posture where I'll bring to you um, little items from across the entire world, literally on health-related issues that uh, have made it into the blogosphere, and I'll be citing the, the references and so forth to allow you to take it to the next step if you should have a mind to. Uh, and so while I'm doing that, you uh, give us a call, I'll wait for you to knock on the door, and I will let you in the store. I should say that while we're on break, I started going through this long list, remember, 153 products in the regular line of North American Urban Spice, 53 products in the um, uh, physician strength line. Ma'am, I think I found the stuff that you were talking about called Zolvex. Zolvex, and the reason I think it is because uh, it is a one-ounce um, uh, oil in a one-ounce bottle, and it says superficial certified wild oregano and rosemary, and I remember him talking about rosemary. The name of the product is Zolvex, not Zolvit. I don't know what the Z and all that's all about, but nonetheless, uh, I've identified it and um, we can get it. I didn't order any of this stuff in, but uh, uh, he mentioned it, so we will get some in, I promise you. Okay. Uh, next up, let's see on the list of uh, things making it around the world. Uh, turns out, by the way, diabetics uh, you got an additional, additional concern now. This byline comes out of Health Day, uh, and the Health Day reporter by the name of Stephen Reinberg. The the date of this, it's posted on May 31st, 2011. And the byline goes something like this. Um, um, People with normal bone density may be as prone to fracture as those with osteoporosis, the study finds, in diabetics. Uh, if, if they didn't have enough to worry about already, uh, good scores on bone tests may not rule out the risk. And so uh, there's an additional item I'll bring to your attention uh, right after we get um, a chance to hear from the next caller. Come on in the store. Hello. What's on your mind? Take it away. Hello. Yes. Doc, yes. Dr. Dennis Scorby. Yes. J.C. and Butler. Hello, J.C. How'd things go on up there the other day with Walter? He was on all eight cylinders, and you, of course, have recorded this for, for posterity, right? Yes, I'll make sure you get a copy of that, and by, by anybody that wants it, they can uh, give me a call, uh, and uh, I'll see that they get it. The, uh, the uh, copy of it is uh, uh, $12 shipped to their door. All right, JC, um, thanks for calling, because this is a nice little service you now provide where you got the equipment to be able to uh, burn additional copies. You've had uh, this role that you play up there for for as long as these meetings have been going on. You've been you've got some of the greatest stuff in your archives. People that yes, have spoken we, up there. We've, had, we've been fortunate with through Sylvia to have some of the greatest speakers in the world, literally. Yes. And whenever you can have somebody like Cass Ingram, and and he always he always does a fantastic job. Well, he sure does. That's really great. But uh, the hydrogen peroxide is also available, so uh, if somebody needs that, they can give me a call at area code 724-287-5555. And uh, I appreciate your all your help over the years, and, and you're so gracious in so many ways. Uh, well, we just really appreciate you. Well, I'm um, glad to hear you're still up there. Firing away on all cylinders yourself, JC. I know you had some health issues yourself, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, you're 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 still making around doing what you've always done. Well, uh, you know, at 75 years of age, you you have to think about what you're going to do in life. And ah, I haven't figured that well, out. Yeah, when you grow up, what do you want to become? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
appreciate it very much, and you have a beautiful day, and uh, have a great life. And uh, yeah, I'll be looking. Hey, I'll be waiting for that uh, copy of the uh, the DVD, please. Yeah, I'll get you a copy. Okay. And we'll do that. And uh, the number again, I'll give it. Re I'll repeat it in case somebody doesn't have a pen at hand. It's seven two four two eight seven five 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 five. And you have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you very much for the call. Uh, glad he called, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, just keep that little phone number on file. Any guests that we um, are trying to promote that will be up at the Freedom of Choice and Cancer Therapy Group, JC has been recording these for the longest time. You could probably encourage him to go back in the file and just pull literally anybody out. Uh, but it's in, I guess, within the last year or two, you got the right equipment to be able to burn additional copies. Um, and this wasn't the case today of videotape. Uh, and, of course, much of what he did record is on videotape. Uh, but uh, now um, he goes straight DVD. The man is, is, is in the modern age, and you can get a copy of the Walter Groats uh, presentation. And I remember the number, 287-5555, 412-287-5555. Okay. Um, back here, and uh, if you got a mind to give us a call with the remaining time, at uh, 412-825-6262. We'll wait for a knock on the door. I'm talking about an article that I uncovered out of Health Day by Stephen Ryberg, talking about an additional problem for the diabetics. It turns out that uh, as all people are, as we age especially, the concern for the possibility of pathological fractures, compression fractures and the like, due to uh, osteoporosis, osteopenia first, and then as it progresses, the osteoporosis uh, has caused most people to follow uh, a bone density test. Now, it looks as though the, more, the most recent research uh, indicates that having a normal bone density test in a diabetic may not have them completely out of the woods. So says, as the article continues now, although many older diabetics have good bone density scores, they are as prone to fractures as people with osteoporosis, a new study finds. Uh, people with type 2 diabetes have a strange combination, said the study's head researcher, Ann V. Schwartz, an associate adjunct professor at, in the Epidemiology and Biostatistics Department at the University of California, San Francisco. They, the quote goes on, have higher fracture risk, and they have higher bone density. However, she said, we found that these tests work to predict fracture, though the interpretation of the results needs to be different. Now, here's the difference. And these are what you need to be bringing up to the attention of your doctor if you're a type 2 diabetic. The asset, to assess the value of bone density tests in predicting, predicting the risk fractures among diabetics, this is unique to diabetics. The researchers looked at two tests of bone strength. Number one, the bone minerally, mineral density, which is the common test score, and it produces what's called a T-score. And um, But the number two test that is needed is a World Health Organization fracture risk algorithm called a FRAX score. Now, they didn't provide them with the algorithm, which means if this, then this, and if this, then that, uh, and I'm looking to find a copy of the algorithm I can bring to you, but there is an algorithm to follow that will take the T-score and combine it with additional factors and bring both of these uh, uh, numbers into a, 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 a level that allows the diabetic to know what their risk really is and how to correct that risk then becomes the problem. I would say that there is a real problem because although they know that these folks are much more predisposed to fracture and they know how to assess their ability to contend with their increased risk in terms of uh, working at the, at the level of getting more calcium in. The little thing that came up uh, by a Dr. Robert R. Recker, who's president of the National Osteoporosis Foundation, says, um, we do recommend in these patients calcium and vitamin D and I thought that was a little strange because always you must have vitamin D in order to be able to even absorb the calcium. So it's vitamin D first. This is the big mistake made by the conventional medical doctor 
who is very willing and able to prescribe the calcium but never has dealt with the vitamin D issue. You don't have the vitamin D levels normal. You can't absorb the calcium. It becomes a wasted nutrient. It literally goes out the back door after you've consumed it, if you know what I mean. Knock on the door. Come on in the store. Hello. Welcome aboard. What's on your mind? Hello. I like I like to find out about the jet of plant that bring your uh, you're supposed to bring your PSA count down. Not missed that about that solution. Could you elaborate on that? Okay. What's the name of the solution you're talking about? I, I think it's a jet up jet up plant. It comes from the jet up plant. Uh, yeah. There was a mention made the other day by someone talking about um, something that they were taking, okay? And because uh, I was talking about the stinging nettles, Pygium African, and the caller, whoever they were, mentioned, no, this was something in addition to it. And I'm, I'm glad you're remembering it because I really didn't recall what the name of the thing was that he mentioned it was taken. And now that you mention it, it was this thing called a jetta plant. I'm unfamiliar with it. I don't know anything about jetta plants. And so maybe I'll go ahead. Well, I actually don't know. The I mean, best I can do is a phonetic spelling, which is J-E-T-T-A, but heck, that's my, my best shot at it. Maybe someone can call up if they're, f they're familiar with it and help us all out because it was a new item on my list. I'm familiar with the big three, saw palmetto, pygeum africans, and stinging nettles. This is in addition to that. One of our callers will let us know, sir. You keep listening to the show, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Absolutely. Good All right. Bongo's in the background. You know what that means. It's our time out of here. Have a great weekend. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. See you on Monday. We'll go over some other things on Monday because I um, don't have a scheduled guest. We'll hit these issues about the World Written Review. Until then, this is Dr. Dennis Courtney saying so long for an impact on your health.